Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rogers Kakasungura YouTube channel. A blessed Saturday. I want to believe you are good wherever you are. Welcome again to this platform where we always speak nothing but the reality itself. Back to the Kenyan politics. And before I move into what I wanted to discuss today, I want to say that uh, our charity WhatsApp group, those who have followed the Brother Rogers YouTube channel, we halted a bit our charity work because of Christmas, and we are resuming back early February. As we clock February, we are going back to our work. So if you could love to join our WhatsApp group, kindly WhatsApp uh, your request to 7 9444 If you love charity work, if you love uplifting the lives of other people, if you love supporting the needy, then that group is the right place for you to join. And we're in the process of registering an organization. We're working on the constitution and other things. I hope when it's ready, we shall officially inform you. Back to the Kenyan politics, ladies and gentlemen. Since, uh, you know, Raila Odinga has not been around, he has been in South Africa meeting um, government officials and other people to deliberate on matters pertaining the development in Kenya. So Raila has not been around. And uh, a lot has really happened in this country and Baba hasn't spoken yet. Kenyans don't really understand what is going on. Um, we have seen right, uh, William Ruto moving into the Luanyanza region to commission a number of government projects, which Raila Odinga is yet to speak. Because when Ruto landed in Luanyanza, Raila didn't even utter a word. But according to the people who see politics from a third eye, it tells you that the journey had Raila Odinga's blessings because the close allies to Raila well, joyfully welcomed William Ruto. So, we are yet to see. Now, um, there is word, and if it at all is going to happen, I want to give you um, a few um, possible things that Raila Odinga is expected to address. Word has it that tomorrow, Monday, Raila Odinga is expected to give the State of the Nation address from Kamkonji grounds. That is the word. And um, if it will be true, because, you know, things change, um, the information we have at hand is that Raila Odinga is expected to address Kenyans from the Kamkonji grounds tomorrow, Monday. Um, if things will not change, and I want to assume that that meeting will happen, I want to assume so, if nothing um, alters it, or if Raila Odinga won't change his schedule, I, I want to speak from a perspective knowing that that meeting is bound to happen and it will really happen. People are asking, if Baba will be speaking tomorrow, what are the possible key points that Raila Odinga is expected to address? That is the question in people's minds. And I've seen that in a number of groups, um, on social media, on Facebook, and even in a number of political words. So people are asking, what could Raila be speaking really? Because when you see things that have been happening around, questions are it that um, Raila Odinga has something to speak tomorrow. And I want to say this. The possible key points that Raila Odinga is set to focus on is, you remember, Jeremiah Keone released a report which, according to his knowledge, he says is a trusted expert from um, a known international expert who released a report showing how Raila Odinga won by a total of 8 million votes. Jeremiah went ahead to confirm and to assure 
the people who support us meal that the expose is available and the person with it is known by name is known where he stays so Jeremiah Kioni says they have no reason to doubt the expose now tomorrow if at all Raila right, Odinga will be speaking from Kamkunji, Kenyans expect that Baba will be addressing the issue. He will be telling Kenyans if he too believes in the expos by the value or by the reason that Jeremiah Kioni, who is um, a leader in Azimio, by him going to address the media and by him being posted in the ODM party official pages, it confirms that Raila Odinga was part and parcel in the agreement that Jeremiah Kioni speaks. So, we are expecting Raila Odinga to address the allegations that he won by 8 million votes according to the expos that was read by Jeremy Akion. So Kenyans are waiting to see what Raila Odinga will be speaking on the issue. Point number two. We all know that media has been putting headlines, including myself, on a soft handshake between Raila Odinga and William Ruto. So we expect Raila Odinga to speak, if not extensively, but to insight on William Ruto's tour to Luanyanza. We are waiting to see what Raila will be speaking as far as the journey is concerned. And um, by William Ruto going to Luanyanza, as we've been saying, it means Raila Odinga is in agreement that yes, let him come to us and give us development. So since then, Raila hasn't spoken. This is one of the things that Kenyans are equally waiting to see what Raila Odinga will be speaking. Right? Num point number three. There are there is a word that Raila Odinga is said to be gifted with government cash and government security, and of course. An official office of the opposition. So Kenyans are eagerly waiting to see if Raila will be addressing this issue. Remember, Rigat Gashawa broke the news well in Homa Bay. He told the people of Luanyanza that if Baba, if you if if Baba is yours, then Baba is also ours. As Kenya Kwanza government, we entirely respect Raila Odinga and President Uru Kenyatta is in the process of giving Baba official government cash, official government security, and of course, an official office of the opposition. Then, to confirm the sentiments, William Ruto, while attending a Thanksgiving church uh, service, I think it was in Bomet, William Ruto said that the leaders in the opposition are doing their constitutional work. Remember, the 2010 constitution does not give the official office of the opposition leader. When Ruto says that the opposition are doing their constitutional duty, it means this is something that is said to be included in the amendment. Now, we are waiting to see how Raila will be responding to this issue in totality. Um, point number four, which is of course the last one. We are expecting Raila to give a way forward in this year 2023. Raila Odinga has not yet given the way forward to the people of Azimio. He has not yet spoken what he is intending to do. Politically, socially, and even if he is willing to join the government. And of course, I know Red is willing to join from the look of things. I want to crown my analysis this way. And watch this space. Because 
because the office of the opposition is still under review, is still in the process of creation. It has not yet officially created. Because Raila wants to keep his political uh, line, I know he will not positively, in totality, speak good. Okay? Is my English okay? I doubt. Let me repeat myself. This is what I'm saying. Because the council regarding the shower was saying have not yet been officially given because the constitutional office that William Ruto said in Bomet has not yet been officially announced to the public. The initiation process is, is, on, is ongoing. Now, tomorrow, if at all Raila Odenga is going to address the nation, I will not expect him to speak positively about the Kenya Kwanzaa government. And if he does so, then it confirms a soft handshake between William Ruto and Ray Laudinga. But then because of tomorrow, I don't expect, that's my expectation, I don't expect Ray to speak positively about the Kenya Kwanzaa government. But I will expect majorly Ray Laudinga to give us the way forward. But then, Let's wait to see what will happen tomorrow. And um, that is my speculation. But then let's wait for the official communication tomorrow as Baba speaks for the first time politically this year. Right? But, you know, kuna ile kuzungumza kisiasa. Na kuna ile kuzungumza kwa matanga, kanisani. So we are expecting that tomorrow, Raila Ode Remember, a meeting was aborted. In between, there was, during, I think it was the Jamuhur Day, you remember, Raila Odinga had announced a massive rally in, was it in Jakaranda, yeah? Oh, no, it was in Kamkunji. Kamkunji or Jakaranda, something like that. And then, I don't know if Raila Odinga received a call from Joe Biden, then he flew to USA to meet Joe Biden. But then, that meeting was not, uh, accomplished. So we believe that whatever that he was to discuss in that meeting will be discussed in tomorrow's meeting if at all is bound to happen. So Kenyans are waiting. The people who support us are entirely waiting to see what will happen. But then those are about my four speculations. The key points Raila Odinga is expected to address tomorrow. But then we pray for um, a successful day tomorrow and may God bless you. Thank you so much.